me to do so. I too broadly welcome the actions announced and equally importantly, the recognition that Scotland's hugely important info inshore fisheries fleet feel that their needs and interests are less important than other considerations. What assurances can the Cabinet Secretary give hard-working fishermen in Galloway that their interests will be his government's top priority when it comes to planning activities such as offshore wind and ensure he will not allow the lights to go off in our rural coastal communities? Cabinet Secretary. Well, uh, Mr Carson raises a very fair point and around the coast there is concern, it's quite true to say, amongst uh, uh, some fishing communities and some uh, fishers in particular about uh, uh, offshore wind. Uh, and we therefore have taken steps to ensure that there is cooperation and discussion and meetings between uh, offshore wind uh, developers to ensure that their plans are developed in such a way that takes account of the needs of fishing. After all, fishers were there first. Uh, and it is very important in places like Galloway that this consultation should be seen as meaningful. So that, in other words, it leads to uh, a modus operandi which will allow fishing to coexist with offshore wind. I think there is enough space involved, but there are difficulties. I have been involved without going into the details, trying off it would take too long, uh, but we are well aware that this is an issue and I'm grateful to, for this opportunity to reaffirm our determination to make sure that the interests of fishers are properly and fully considered in relation to offshore wind.